Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing this cordless leaf blower from AOTree. This is a two battery kit. So it comes with two of these 20 volt lithium ion packs to power this leaf blower. So AOTree was nice enough to reach out to me about reviewing this. So I want to give them a big thanks for sending this out for review. So you can see they say it has a, it has two speeds, which is interesting. My uh, current Black & Decker, which I'll show you, is just a one speed. But they say it has a 60 mile per hour uh, uh, velocity of the wind at stage one, 130 at stage two. So I plan on comparing this with my Black & Decker. So let me show you the AO tree first and what all comes with it. So here is the charger. Pretty neat, uh, decent design. Here's the 20 volt battery. And they get, you got two of them. So it, the other one is inside this box. And just snaps right in here. Should be good to go. You got your two speeds. Thumb switch right there. Now the battery, let me take it off and show you, it doesn't use a charging cradle like a lot of these would, and that's probably to keep the cost down. I, I think this is around $50. I'll have a purchase link down in the video description. But it just give you a little wall charger. It has like a barrel connector. So it plugs in right here into the wall. There's a light on here, it'll be red, and it'll go green when it is fully charged. And it obviously takes several hours, depending on how much you've depleted the battery. Obviously, all these batteries nowadays that are lithium ion or lipo will have a cutoff voltage so you don't ruin the battery so it'll turn off uh, the blower when you get low but you get two packs so more than enough for almost any property you run two packs and uh, you don't have to worry about you can have both of them charged and one goes low slap the other one in and you could probably go you know maybe a few weeks to months uh, uh, off two packs on a residential property like I have myself you get an instruction manual with your basics. There's a very small amount of assembly. You just have to snap this middle pipe and then the end one on here. And it kind of curves up and that's the correct way to install it. And I'll be comparing it with my old trusty Black & Decker. This is also a 20 volt lithium ion. I, this is an aftermarket battery. The originals have gone bad. Uh, just kind of see, you know, I do like this has two speeds. So if you're out and about and you have just a few leaves on your driveway or something you may only need to use a first speed that'll conserve battery and it won't be as noisy so i'll probably just kind of put them probably won't go side by side i'll probably do a little section with one and then another and just kind of see if i can see any difference i expect on high speed to be pretty similar let's fire them both up here just to sort of listen to them in terms of levels of noise so here's high speed on the ao tree Oops, I don't have the battery in, of course. <laughs> I'd taken the battery out. Let me slap the battery back in. I got it. had the battery out, so let's put it on high speed. And here's the Black & Decker on high. A little, a little different sound. Now I'll put a fresh battery on this. This battery's been used for a little while, so that could affect the output a little bit. But you know, I just, Kind of feels like the AO tree could be a little bit stronger, but that may just be the sound. All right, I'm going to mow the lawn, do some trimming, and then we'll uh, test these out and I'll see how's the AO tree perform for a budget cordless leaf blower. This is brush motor, this is not a brushless one. All right, guys, I'll be right back with that in a second. All right, so I have both leaf blowers out here. I'm going to start out with the AO tree, to see kind of how it does, and I'll alternate between it and the Black and Decker. It's quite a bit of wind, so I hope there's not too much wind noise in the mic along with the leaf blower. So let me start out with the AO tree. Of course, this is gonna be on high. Let me show you the low speed first. Now see, that's not gonna be good for much glass clippings, but it would be fine for some, this would be fine for some leaves on low. I don't know if you can hear me say that. Let's go to high. Yeah, it works pretty good. It looks like it has a, you know, it might be slightly narrower on the tip compared to the Black & Decker. Let's try the Black & Decker now. Okay, now I had quite a more wind at my back at that moment, so that could have been helping the Black & Decker out. Let's go, 
this way and see if the Black & Decker, because I feel like the Black & Decker made it out a little bit better. So I'm gonna go up here, let's try the AO tree. I just, like I said, I'm just going to use the Black & Decker as well to see. And it could be this tip because you have on the on the Black & Decker, it's like a oval shape more. And let's look at this one. It's more open on the AO tree, so that's going to, um, the narrower the tip, the less air, but the more velocity. So yeah, I mean, the AO tree works just fine. I do think the Black & Decker is a little bit better, but the Black & Decker, I'm sure, is more expensive. But this one seems pretty good for, you know, I think it's around $50. Considering you get two batteries with it, it works just fine. I'm going to be using it quite a bit. You know, I'll probably alternate between both of them. But the fact, this has two batteries. It means that, you know, I'm going to be able to not worry about having to charge these up. This is the only batteries I use because I used to have a weed eater that was Black & Decker. Or, I am call them weed eaters, but trimmers. And it got pretty old, so I replaced it. So I kept this one just for the batteries to use the blower, and I don't use the old weed eater. In fact, I, I threw the old trimmer away. So I'm gonna be using this quite a bit. I do like this. Um, for the price, I don't think you can really beat it. It'd be fine for residential, small homes, you know, uh, decent sized houses. If you, as long as you have tons of property, even though you've got two batteries, oops, you know, you might want a bigger, more industrial strength or gas one to cover a lot of property, especially if you have really heavy clippings. Um, but I think this thing works pretty darn good for the price. All right, guys, I'm going to be using this some more here to finish up uh, blowing the grass clippings around that I just got finished mowing. But I should wrap up this video. If you're interested in the AO Tree uh, leaf cordless leaf blower, have a uh, yeah link down in the description and also in the pinned comment. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel. You like tech stuff or you know anything with some plex tutorials on how to use plex all the way to tech stuff like this please consider subscribing while you click that bell that way you'll be notified when i do upload new videos as always guys have a great day